forest, a link that goes back through the centuries to the time when man first discovered fire. Man and the forest have become inseparable. Its products are vital to our progress. And as the trees live and die, so man lives and dies too. Chainsaws make short work of the trees of the forest. The danger to man is this ease of conquest can lead to complacency. Some of the most serious forest injuries are caused by falling limbs. An ordinary hat is no protection against this danger, but a safety helmet will guard your head. Approved safety helmets are a must for the bush worker, and if you doubt their strength, watch this demonstration. Here's what the safely dressed bushman will wear. Safety helmet and good fitting clothes. Loose clothing can snag you and cause an accident. And on his feet, safety boots with a hard toe. An excellent idea as this test shows. No bushman worth his salt will work with poor tools. Make sure they're sharp, clean, and in good repair. Falling a tree is child's play to experts, but lots of children are hurt playing. Don't take chances. Keep an eye peeled for dry limbs or hangers overhead. If you must work under a hanger, get a mate to keep a good lookout. You won't hear a limb coming when the chainsaw starts. Make sure that there's a clear getaway in case of emergency. Get your mate to warn you when the tree starts to fall. Wind is important. If it seems too strong, see the boss. He doesn't want injuries any more than you do. When the tree is on the ground, the danger's not yet over. A good bushman chocks the log before bridging and checks to see that no limbs are bent back. When cross-cutting, make sure the log can't roll on you or the sawn piece drop on your foot. Workhorse of the bush is the bulldozer, a great labour saver. Every safe tractor used in the bush has a canopy as protection from overhead dangers. When setting chokers or dogs on logs for haulage, it's essential to give the driver clear signals. Bad teamwork has caused the loss of fingers, hands and arms in this operation. Imagine your hand caught in here. Keep clear of all ropes and blocks under strain. They can snap and fly with terrific cutting force. And keep well clear of logs being towed along a skid road. Saplings can spring back and break a man's neck if he follows too closely. Loading logs is a dangerous operation that calls for caution at all times. As the log nears, 
make sure you're in a position to get away fast if it plays tricks. You can't get away when you get between the skids and the lorry. You may save a few seconds, but you may get killed. Skillful loading of a timber truck is important. There are 10 to 15 tonnes in a load and it must be balanced properly and secured for 100% safety. At sawmill, the moving log continues to need respect until it's secured to the log carriage. This is a job where sure footing and first-class equipment are essential. Don't take risks with masses of strip bark underfoot. A slip could be fatal. All wire ropes should be in first-class order. Do you work with a rope like this? If you do, you're risking serious injury. And so the log goes under twin Canadian breaking down saws. A good sawyer never takes risks with the twins, for he knows relaxation here is dangerous. If a small sliver of timber jams against the saw blade, always use a long piece of stick to free it. Never reach in with your hand. The men in this mill all wear glasses. No, they're not short-sighted. They're safety glasses an excellent precaution against flying splinters of wood or steel. These glasses are made of specially toughened glass. If you wear glasses normally, you can have the lenses made from this glass. On all bench work, a good operator keeps his distance from the saw blade. On the docking saw, Familiarity and monotony are the two greatest enemies to beat. Many a worker has lost a hand or an arm on this saw. Make sure every saw is guarded and keep your hands and arms clear. In a sawmill, cleanliness is essential. Sawdust on floors is dangerous. If the floor is inclined to be slippery, get a special non-skid surfacing which can be fixed permanently to the floor. Timber production is playing a big and vital part in this country's progress. You can continue to play your part in our progress by ensuring safety on the job at all times. And the families who depend on you will continue to enjoy the security and happiness they deserve. Thank you.